Good morning to everyone. You have reached the Human K channel. Today, we'll talk about the interesting model of personality that Michael Ashton and Kai Bom Lee made, as well as the darker side of personality that Powell Hiss and Williams made. Let's dive in. A six-factor model of psychology has been made by Ashton and Lee. This model adds some unique parts that were not in other ideas. The widely used five-factor model has two of the six factors, extroversion and conscientiousness, that are also in the six-factor model. But the other four factors in this model are different from what has been done before in different ways and are unique to this theory. Ashton and Lee recommend using two self-report inventories to learn more about this model. These are the 100-item Hexaco Personality Inventory and the revised 60-item. Both inventories have been shown to measure personality traits in a true and reliable way. Now, let's talk about how far this six-factor approach goes around the world. Ashton and other researchers have found these things in Dutch, French, German, Hungarian, Italian, Korean, Polish, Greek, Croatian, Turkish, and Filipino communities, among others. This cross-cultural validation shows that these personality traits are true for everyone. Next, interesting study is being done to find out how this six-factor model affects behavior and emotions. For example, an Italian study found that people who scored high on the conscientiousness factor were more likely to vote for right-wing political groups. On the other hand, those who leaned toward left-wing political groups scored higher in honesty, agreeableness, and openness. This shows that there is an interesting link between mental traits and political views. In another study done in New Zealand with college students, those who scored low on being open to new experiences and being emotional showed more right-wing authoritarianism and bias against groups that don't agree with them. This shows that there might be a link between psychological traits and how people feel about social groups. Research done in the US found that people who were honest and humble got better job success ratings than those who were not. Also, studies done in Egypt and Portugal found that high results on the honesty, humility factor were linked to stronger religious feelings and, in Portugal's case, happiness. These results put light on how different parts of life are affected by personality traits. Lastly, study done in England and Australia showed that adult criminals and delinquents scored low on dimension of honesty and humility and high on dimension of psychoticism. These results show how important personality factors are for understanding bad behavior. As you can see, Ashton and Lee's six-factor model of personality is a good way to understand the complicated ways people act. It looks at things from different angles and has been tested in different countries. Research on this model's behavioral and mental correlates is still going on, and it's helping us learn more about how personality traits affect different parts of our lives. Now, we'll talk about something really interesting, the bad side of personality. Researchers Powell Hiss and Williams have come up with a three-factor way to understand these parts of human nature. Let's study these traits in more detail. Narcissism is the first trait we'll talk about. This trait is marked by extreme selfishness, an overly high opinion of one's own skills and gifts, and a constant need for praise and attention. People with a lot of narcissism usually put themselves first and use others to meet their own wants. Machiavellianism is the second trait. This trait is a strong desire to control other people, which often shows up as sneakiness, lying, and lack of morals. People who are high in Machiavellianism tend to use clever methods to get what they want, even if it hurts others. Psychopathy is the third trait we'll talk about. This character includes having a heartless and insensitive personality, being self-centered, and being antisocial. People who are psychopathic don't feel pity or regret, and they often use charm or even violence to take advantage of other people. It's important to remember that even though these traits show the bad side of people, not everyone has them to the same degree. Each trait is on a scale, and different people can show different amounts of each one. It's important to note that studying the bad parts of people has important implications in many areas, such as psychology, criminology, and organizational behavior. By understanding these traits, we can learn more about what drives people with these traits and how they act. Several studies have shed light on this group of traits and what it means for people and how they act. Let's look at what was found. Recent studies have shown that people who score high on all three traits tend to do more bad things than people who score low on all three. Also, they get more pleasure out of other people's problems, which shows that they are heartless and lack compassion. Self-promotion is another trait that is often seen in people who have a lot of the dark triad traits. They often act in ways that are cold, dishonest, and violent in order to get attention for themselves. 
As they influence and lie to get what they want, they hurt other people in the process. Likewise, researchers looked at people's Facebook updates and found that the content of their posts could predict their levels of psychopathy and narcissism. Updates from people at the top of the dark triad were often mean, aggressive, and full of self-promotion. This link between personality traits and online activity raises some interesting questions about how these traits show up in the digital world. It is important to note that people who score high on Machiavellianism and psychopathy also tend to score low on three of the big five factors – conscientiousness, agreeableness, and openness. They don't care about other people or show much emotion, and they are very aggressive. In addition, they are angry and don't forgive, and they have low scores on tests of mental stability. Some of the traits of the dark triad have also been linked to exploitative sexual relationships that last only a short time. Psychopathy in particular is linked to a strong sexual drive and strong sexual and sadomasochistic dreams and themes. People who score high on psychopathy and narcissism are more likely to have a lot of short-term sexual relationships where they don't plan to commit. As experts keep looking into the dark triad, we learn more about what it means for people and how they relate to each other. These traits are linked to being manipulative and taking advantage of other people, not having empathy, and preferring short-term, casual interactions. As we wrap up our talk for the day, Ashton and Lee's six-factor model of personality gives us important information about how complicated people are. It looks at things from different angles and has been tested in different countries. Research on this model's behavioral and mental correlates is still going on, and it's helping us learn more about how personality traits affect different parts of our lives. Think about how complicated human personalities are and how the dark triad traits relate to moral issues. These results give us important information about the darker sides of human behavior and tell us how important empathy, responsibility, and making ethical decisions are when we deal with other people.